Okay, a very good morning to all of you. Today we are going to learn how to solve the second order differential equations using MAPLE. As usual, first of all, we have the restart to clear out all the previous memory. And we define a second order differential equation. In this, this case, I label it okay, as ODE2. You can use any name that you like it okay, for assignment. So we have a column equal. This is actually the equation assignment, huh? not the functions. And we define the second order differential equation d2 dt2. You can use okay, okay, uh, this button. And the x will change it to t, the f will change to i is a function of t. You must type i t. If you type i, uh, they give you errors. Then the d dt is a first order button, d d x f. By the f will change to it, the x will change to t plus 3 it. Okay, the multiplication, make sure you have the okay, press of shift 8 huh? equal to 17 cos 2t. For multiplication, make sure you type the multipli multiplications. And then okay, to get the general solution, let's say I label it as general solution, call it equal. Okay, this is using shortcut using the built-in function d soft. Okay, for any functions in method, open and close bracket. So we are going to solve the ODE, ODE2. ODE2 stands for the second order differential equation. So set comma solve for the IT. So as you know, okay, second order differential equation, you should have two integral constant. So this is can assume as a b, this is a a. And since this is a non-homogeneous second order differential equation, okay, this two term is actually the homogeneous solution. If the last two term is actually your IP, the particular integral. Okay, if you want to get the particular solution, let's okay, let's say I leave, use the variable particular SOL stand for particular solution, call it equal, the D soft commands. Okay, compared to the general solution, you have to add in the curly bracket and then it here becomes when t0, the initial condition you have i equal to 0. Second order differential equation, in order to solve two constants c1 and c2 here, you need two initial conditions. Okay, another initial condition, d bracket i bracket 0 equal to 7, this is actually the i prime 0 equal to 7. When t equal to 0, the first derivative of di dt equal to 7. Close the curly bracket, comma, solve it for it. And you can solve for the c1 and c2. And we obtain this is a particular solution. If you want to solve it using uh, the method, uh, the Laplace transform, and just comma, from here the comma, method equal to Laplace. If you want to solve it using power series method, so common okay, series. So this is the power series okay, method. This is up to the order t power 5. And then if you want to solve it manually, like okay, manually in MAPLE, so first of all, you have to replace it okay, as you have to find the homogeneous solution. To find the homogeneous solutions here, you let the right hand side okay, mean equal to 0. And then okay, the second derivative, you replace it by m squared. First derivative by m power 1, it by m power 0. So we instruct MAPL to do the substitutions. So d2, dt2, it, I mean the second derivative, substitute means replace it by m squared, di, ddt, it, substitute equal to m, it, m power 0, which is 1, to the, okay, substitute to the left hand sides of the, of the ODE2. This left hand side. And this substitute into the left hand side. Okay. Right hand side, you let it equal to 0. So get here. So the characteristic equation will become m squared plus 2m plus 3 equal to 0. So you have the m squared plus 2m plus 3. To solve the, uh, the characteristic equation equal to zero, you use a command, 
say that m is soft. Solve this characteristic equation for m. So when, when you solve, it's actually math for the do m squared plus 2m plus 3 equal to 0. So solve for m. In this case, we get two complex groups. Two complex groups. So the homogeneous solutions. Complex groups. So we have okay, exponent, the real, okay, I mean the real okay, solution, which is negative 1. Is exponent negative t. So how to construct the method? The exponent, the real of real, okay, real part of m. We have m1, m2. So m squared bracket one means take the first one. So exponent m1 here is actually obtain negative one. Multiply by t. That's why you get here exponent negative t. Multiply a cos, okay, the imaginary part set two. So imaginary I M stands for the imaginary R E is the real M1 dot T. Then the solution for mm, homogeneous solution when the root is complex number, we have E alpha T, where the alpha is a real okay, solution from a complex solution there. A cos beta. Beta is a okay, coefficient for the I set to T plus B prime sin set to t in sin imaginary i m m bracket one times t so this is a homogeneous solution yeah, labeled is at i h and then for mm, the right hand side we have the okay 17 cos 2t 17 cos 2t that's why the particular integral in terms of c cos 2t okay put it c1 cos 2t plus c2 sin 2t in the same form in the right hand side cos 2t the particular solution we can put c plus d, uh, d if you use d later on i think you will have problem because d the simple d in maple they may use it for certain function so that's why i put it here c1 c2 so IP is C1 cos 2t plus C2 sin 2t. And then we have a second order differentiate equation. That's why we need to differentiate IP first time. So I label, call it as DIP. This will plug in into the DIPT. Second time, differentiate it second time. So I mean differentiate this one. Or I can use a comma. This button with the X the F. And then actually change it to T, the F is actually your DIP. So DIFF is another way, okay? Differentiates IP, TT, two times. Or you can use like this. DIP. Then you use this or here. This one is actually we different okay, we differentiate okay, this we get the second derivative, but we didn't assign to any variable. But okay, in this statement, we obtain negative okay, for C1 with the second derivative and we assign it into the variable DDI. If you type the subscript okay, DDI, I put square bracket B. In okay, this variable keep the second derivative, this DIP keep the okay, result for first derivative. And then the equation, okay, this is a second, uh, the ODE2 is actually you have to simplify, uh, simplify, with, simplify the expression. And then substitute second derivative by DDIP, first derivative by DIP, okay, IT by IP. IP here. C1 cos 2t plus C2 sin 2t into ODE2. Okay, after substitute, simplify it and plug in K okay, and assign it into a variable need it equations. Yeah. And then I call the EQ1, equation 1 is actually take the coefficients of
This is button to run execute all the statements. The EQ1 is actually extract the position of the left hand side minus K minus the right hand side equation and compare it to the cos 2t. It is actually we take out the coefficient of the cos 2t. Compare the coefficient of the cos 2t for both hand side. So the cos 2t, you know, negative c1, okay, negative c1 plus 4 c2 equal to negative 17. Equation 2 is actually we compare the coefficient for sin 2t. Okay. Equation 1 is here. Equation 2, compare the coefficient for sin 2t. So we have negative c2 minus 4c1 equal uh, 0. And then we solve these two equation 1 and equation 2 simultaneously for c1 and c2. So then c1 is negative 1, c2 is Okay, the assigned percent, percent is actually the latest output, the latest output. Okay, so mean we have a C1, uh, C1 equal to negative 1, C2 equal to negative 4. So this is a solution for homogeneous. Okay, and plug in, I mean the assign here, plug in C1 is negative 1, C2 is 4. C1 negative 1, C2 is 4. And then the unapplied, unapplied percent, percent in the latest okay, output here. In I here, this is equation. To make it as function, we use a command unapplied the latest output, make it become function of t. The function of t, the difference you can see, this is arrow. Okay, and then one I is a function of t, when you call I bracket zero, you plug in t equal to zero into the function id here and we solve it for a okay, because when plug in t equal to zero this term is zero this term is zero cos zero we have one okay then we can uh, so you left the term a yeah? left the term a we solve it for this is why we solve i zero equal to zero for a we obtain a equal to one and when you call it back because a is equal to 1, so the value of a will be updated. So you left the b. To solve for b, we need the second okay, uh, initial condition, which is uh, dt it when t0 equal to 7. So first of all, we differentiate it. And then the it is actually, uh, because this is actually only the expression, we didn't assign it into any variable. So now, okay, so unapplied percent is the latest output here, okay. Then we take the later output, make it be, uh, become a function of t, put into the variable dit. So dit is a function, so function in the arrow here. I mean dit is actually, is di dt, yeah? first derivative of the it, which is function of t, version 22 here. And then, okay, we left the variable b, now we plug in, okay, when t equal to 0, the first derivative equal to 7, and solve it for b. So we obtain b0, and then okay, here, if we call back it, the b value will be updated. Then we get, the, this is actually the particular solution for the second order differential equation. Just now up to here, up here. So now b zero. So left exponent negative t cos two t minus cos two t plus four sin two t. So I repeat. Here we have the second order differential equation. We solve it using method. 
you have two way one you can just use the desktop command where you can is quickly get the general solution and particular solution another one we did it manually step by step as what you did it manually using your hand but the instruct method to do it step by step with this thank you for your attentions